Hey, good afternoon. It's Pete from FigLife.com. And today I'm going to look at another fig. This one is called Sao Miguel Rocho. All right, we're going to look at the Sao Miguel Rocho fig tree. It's kind of back here in the back. Here it is. It's my second year with this tree. Um, it's grown really well. Uh, it's branched out uh, like I wanted it to. Producing some fruit now. It's early September. Had a little bit of a head start in the greenhouse, um, but it is kind of in a an area here in the yard where it doesn't get a lot of sun. So, so you know, those two factors probably kind of offset each other. Uh, but it's just now starting to produce some fruit. I got one that's pretty close to being ripe. I probably could pick that one, but I'll just, I'll just let it stay on the, the tree. And then I just picked this one uh, that looks to be ripe. So um, yeah, let's go take a look at this fig. All right, so Sao Miguel Rocho is a uh, Portuguese variety. It comes from the Azores. And um, it also goes by the name Azores Dark. Uh, and there's a little bit of, uh, there was a little bit of confusion about what Azores Dark was. Uh, there was a grower on the east coast uh, very popular who um popularized the fig under the name azores dark because that's the name by which he received it and he didn't know any better and and you know it's not his fault um but no one could figure out where, what this fig was because no one had ever heard of this fig before um and then eventually the grower that gave it to uh this other grower um he ended up saying oh I, you know i made a mistake and um, actually, this this is this is the fig that goes by the name Sao Miguel Rocho, which was a fig that um, I wouldn't say a lot of growers had, but it was a fig that was out there. I mean, other growers had it. So, uh, you know, I think that's all been clarified now, and uh, everyone knows that these two are in fact the same fig um, because the source of the uh, original Azores Dark uh, confirmed that. It was actually named Sao Miguel Rocho, and he made a mistake when he when he passed it along under the name Azores Dark. So, um, you know, those two, there's there's often a lot of times, you know, confusion like, oh, this is very similar. This could be the same as this other one. You know, this is probably the same as this other one. But in a case where you have the person who started the fig saying, oh, I made a mistake. It's actually this other fig. You know, it's not it's not this name. I think in that case, we can be pretty confident that that these two are, two are exactly the same and are completely synonymous. So I think that's the case here with Azores Dark and Sao Miguel Rocho, um, that those those two are just the exact same name. It's two names for the same fig. So I like to call it Sao Miguel Rocho because that is its real name. And, um, you know, that's just what I like to call it. So anyway, now that we've got that history lesson out of, this, out of the way, uh, we can look at this fig. It's... Uh, so it's got a lot of cracking on it right now, <laughs> which I don't recall this fig normally having a lot of cracking. So I'm not sure why that is. We did have a, a big rainstorm come through a few days ago. It was the Hurricane Ida uh, coming through. We had the remnants of that. So we got a ton of rain and, and maybe that is, uh, maybe that contributed to why it's got this cracking on there. I'm not really sure, uh, but good news at least. I didn't get any splitting from the eye and it has a pretty tight eye. I wouldn't say completely tight, but a pretty tight eye on this fig. And I did get a lot, a lot of these figs last year. It was a very productive tree for me last year. In its first year, I got a lot of figs off Sao Miguel Rocho. And, um, and probably will get quite a few figs off it this year. But my figs last year did have a really, really nice taste. Uh, I'd say, you know, this is a, a good tasting, hardy Chicago type. Uh, very productive, uh, vigorous grower. Um, so, you know, a good choice for growers on the East Coast for sure. But uh, let me go ahead and cut this open. You should. All right, cut it open, and there we have it. Uh, so it looks like a you know hardy Chicago type fig on the inside. Um, I'd say just about ripe. Uh, you know, probably could have used just a little more time, as usual. <laughs> like I'm always picking my figs just a little bit too early, but um, this will probably taste all right. Let me try this. All right. 
So again, this is uh, Sal Miguel Rocho, AKA Azores Dark. Mm. Yeah, really nice sweet berry flavor. Kind of what you'd uh, get from a, a good hardy Chicago type. You know, when the hardy Chicago types get well ripened, they can really have a nice flavor. Um, some people say it has a, a slightly different flavor from Hardy Chicago. Maybe, I don't know. I, I won't. I guess I won't put words in people's mouths. But um, to me, it's it's kind of in that same category. I don't really notice a lot of different flavors, but I don't know. It's been a while since I had a, a really well ripened one. This is the first first one this year, so maybe I'm just not remembering it. Yeah, really nice flavor. Uh, this is a great choice for a hardy Chicago type fig. Um, if you're looking for one of those type of figs, one of those varieties to add to your, uh, to your collection or you don't have one, I mean, this is definitely a great choice. <coughs> so uh, yeah, that was Sal Miguel Rocho, AKA Azores Dark. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit subscribe and check out my website, www.figlife.com.